let's get right into it. Number 8. Tasting colors and hearing shapes. Biting into an apple and seeing the color blue explode in your mind. Hearing a car horn and suddenly tasting chocolate. This is called synesthesia, and scientists still can't fully explain how it works. It's like your brain's wiring got crossed during development. About 2-4% to of people have this condition. These sensory crossovers aren't random. If the number 7 appears blue to someone with synesthesia, it will always be blue. Every single time. Scientists tested this. Synesthetes shown the same things months apart always report the same cross-sensory experiences. Some people with synesthesia can taste shapes, like taking a bite of your sandwich and tasting a triangle. Others see specific colors when they look at numbers or letters. Scientists think it might be due to extra connections in the brain that didn't get removed during development, like the brain kept some beta features that most people's brains delete. We all might have had this as babies. Scientists think newborn brains start with these connections, but most lose them as we grow. It also runs in families, but scientists still can't explain why this happens, or why certain senses get mixed up instead of others. Number 7. The Tickle Torture Response Imagine being strapped to a chair while someone runs their fingers along your ribs. You start laughing uncontrollably, even if you're in serious distress. Your body betrays you with laughter. Scientists still can't fully explain why this happens. They know it starts with sensitive nerve endings sending signals to your brain, but the reason a simple touch makes us lose control with laughter remains unclear. One theory is that it's an ancient defense mechanism. The light, feathery feeling is similar to bugs or parasites crawling on your skin. Our ancestors might have evolved this response to protect themselves. An uncontrollable spasm might save your life if you're covered in prehistoric ticks, but that doesn't explain why we laugh instead of just jumping away. You can't tickle yourself. Your brain knows it's coming and shuts down the response. Tickling occupies a weird space between pleasure and panic. Your body can't decide if it's having fun or being tortured. Tickling activates both the pleasure and pain centers in your brain simultaneously. This is why tickling has been used as torture throughout history. Even rats laugh when they're tickled, heard using special microphones. And just like humans, rats only laugh when tickled by someone else. We still don't know why some spots are more ticklish than others. Number 6. The Contagious Mouth Stretch When someone yawns, you suddenly feel the urge to do it too. It can spread through a room like a wave. Scientists still can't figure out exactly why this happens. It's not just humans either. Dogs, birds, and even some reptiles catch yawns from others. You're more likely to catch a yawn from someone you know than a stranger. It's like your brain has a VIP list for whose yawns it copies. Some scientists think it's all about brain temperature. When you yawn, you're giving your brain an air conditioning break. But that doesn't explain why it's contagious. Another theory is that it helped our ancestors survive. Imagine a group of cavemen sitting around. One starts yawning, then everyone does it, making the whole group more alert. Nature's version of passing around an energy drink. Others think it's about empathy and social bonding, possibly involving mirror neurons. Scientists used to think yawning was about getting more oxygen, but that theory was disproven. Babies don't catch yawns until they're about four years old. Even watching a video of someone yawning can make you yawn. Just watching this about yawning right now probably made some of you yawn. Number 5. When words hide in your brain. Sometimes a word is right there, on the tip of your tongue, but you just can't grab it. This is the tip of the tongue phenomenon. Your brain knows the word exists. It knows the meaning. You might even know the first letter, how many syllables it has, or words that sound similar, but the actual word stays hidden like a remote behind the couch. This happens in every language and culture around the world. Even people who use sign language get it. Scientists have two main theories. The first says the word is there, but the signal to reach it is too weak. The second suggests your brain is making guesses based on fragments of information, like solving a puzzle with missing pieces. As you get older, this happens more often. Brain scans show specific parts lighting up during these moments, but scientists still don't know exactly what's going wrong. Sometimes the word pops into your head hours later when you're doing something completely different, like yelling Chris Pratt in the middle of doing dishes. Number 4. The Runner's Annoying Stab You're out for a jog, feeling great, when suddenly it feels like someone just stuck a knife in your side. This is the side stitch, a pain that's been ruining workouts for centuries. Even Shakespeare wrote about this stabbing pain. Doctors and scientists still can't agree on what causes it. Some think it happens when your organs, like your liver and stomach, Bounce around and pull on tiny ligaments connected to your diaphragm. These ligaments respond by sending pain signals. Other scientists think your diaphragm cramps up because it's not getting enough blood during exercise. 
Some experts think your internal organs are just tired of being jostled around. This isn't just a beginner's problem. Even professional athletes get side stitches. About 70% of runners report getting these pains at least once a year. Horse riders get them too. Apparently bouncing on a horse can trigger the same pain. Drinking sugary drinks before running makes it worse. Number 3. The Musical Skin Tingle Puzzle Some people get random tingles down their spine when listening to music. Goosebumps that ripple across their skin during the perfect part of a song. Scientists call this frisson, and they're still figuring out how it really works. Only about half of all people can even experience this. If you get these musical chills, your brain is actually built differently. Scientists did brain scans and found that frisson people have more wiring between their emotional centers and the parts that process sound. It's like having a premium sound system built into their heads. These tingles aren't just from music. Some people get them from watching sunsets, emotional movie scenes, or even really good art. Scientists know the brain releases dopamine, the feel-good chemical, during frisson, but they can't explain why the body responds with actual physical chills. Some researchers think this might have helped our ancestors bond during tribal rituals through synchronized goosebumps. Others think it might be an ancient warning system rewired to respond to beauty instead of danger. Despite all this research, they still can't fully explain why some brains are wired for these tingles and others aren't, or why the body responds to an emotional moment by making arm hair stand up. Number 2. Placebo Power Imagine taking a sugar pill for your headache, and the pain actually goes away. That's the placebo effect. Your brain doesn't know it's fake. It starts producing its own natural painkillers just because you believed the pill would work. Scientists have actually seen this happen in brain scans. When people take placebos for pain, the parts of their brain that handle pain relief light up. Your brain is its own drug dealer, pumping out chemicals just because you tricked it. These natural painkillers are called endorphins. Even when people know they're taking a fake pill, it can still work. Just the ritual of taking a pill can fool your brain into healing mode. In one study, they gave migraine sufferers sugar pills but told them it was medicine. Half of them felt better from eating literal candy. This isn't just about pain either. Placebos can help with nausea, insomnia, and even mood problems, but there's a dark side too. If you believe something will hurt you, your brain can actually make you feel sick. It's called the nocebo effect, placebo's evil twin. Your brain can create real pain just because you expect pain. Scientists still can't fully explain how our thoughts can cause real physical changes in our bodies. We all have this built-in pharmacy in our heads, but we don't know how to control it. Number 1. Brain Tingles from ASMR Sounds Imagine watching a video of someone whispering or gently tapping their fingernails, and suddenly your brain starts tingling, not like a headache, more like tiny bubbles fizzing across your scalp. That's ASMR, Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response. These tingles usually start at your scalp and trickle down your neck and spine like a pleasant wave of static electricity. But it's not just any sound that triggers it. It has to be specific things like soft whispers, careful tapping, or even the sound of pages turning in a book. Some people get these tingles from watching someone fold towels or pretend to do their makeup. Scientists are still trying to figure out why some people get these tingles from watching someone whisper. Not everyone experiences it. Two people can watch the same video of someone tapping their nails on a wooden box. One might feel bliss, the other might feel nothing. Scientists think it might be your brain mixing up senses, interpreting a soft whisper as a gentle touch. It's kind of like your brain is getting a gentle massage from sound waves. Some researchers think it's connected to memories of being cared for as a child, like gentle hair brushing or soft speech. Your brain might recreate that comforting feeling through these sounds. Doctors have found that these tingles actually change your body. Your heart rate slows down, you get super relaxed, and your brain releases feel-good chemicals like dopamine. It's like your brain is giving itself a spa day, all triggered by someone whispering about their grocery list. But nobody really knows for sure why these sounds trigger physical sensations or why only some people can feel it. It's like your brain has a secret pleasure button that only certain sounds can press. That's all for today. I'll be making similar videos in the future. Subscribe to see them.